Your eyes are not deceiving you, we finally got Arc Survival Evolved working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Now this has been one of the most requested games on my YouTube channel, and this game does have a Mac port on Steam, which has been incorrectly listed as being Catalina compatible only, meaning that it's detected as a 32-bit application. However, thanks to some hard work from a user called TomBob51, they've posted a solution on Reddit, and it turns out the only reason that the Mac port doesn't launch is due to a long-standing bug with a version of Unreal Engine that Arc Survival Evolve uses, and the fix is pretty straightforward. And this comes just in time because at the time of recording, Arc Survival Evolve is completely free to own as long as you make sure to add it to your Steam account before the 19th of June 2022. So today we're going to show you how to get the game up and running so unfortunately we can't get multiplayer working and this is likely due to an issue with the anti-cheat battle line however we can get the full single player game working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have Arc Survival Evolved attached to our Steam account. So we need to log into our Steam client and then go to Arc Survival Evolved in the search menu here. And at the time of recording, you can add this for free or you can buy this in the future as well. Just make sure to buy the game and then have it installed on your Mac. And in order for this game to be played on the N1 Apple Silicon Mac, we're gonna have to apply the patch by TomBob51, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And the most important part is gonna be this copy and paste terminal command which I'm going to show you how to use now. And the way to apply it is we go to the top right hand side of the screen and then we type in terminal and we select this first entry here. And now that we have terminal open, we're going to go back to that Reddit thread. We're going to select this code and then we're going to control click and press copy. And then we're going to go to our terminal window and then we're going to control click here and then press paste. So what this basically does is that it applies the patch to this default location where Arc is going to be installed for most people. However, if you have modified this, then what you can do is you can go to Steam, you can control click on here, go to manage, and then click browse local files. And then the shooter game is the actual file itself, which runs Arc. What you can do is control click on here, get info, and then you can copy and paste this path here and basically modify your arc bundle equals and then change what's between these two quotation marks and give the alternative location. If you have it on a volume, you can put it in the volumes folder and just modify this arc underscore bundle so that it's correct for you. So basically once you're ready, we need to press the return button here and it is giving this error message command not found, but that hash key is just the comment at the top here. This patch is gonna be applied and you don't have to run any other patch. You don't need to run arc patch patch.bsdiff. That's just a byproduct of the patching process. So if you go to your downloads folder, you can go ahead and delete this. So once your patch has been applied, we can go ahead and press the play button on Arc Survival Evolve. And then this is going to go ahead and launch the game. So for some people, this might take revalidation and it might take a bit of time for this to load up again. However, just be patient and it should load up. If you're getting error messages, what you can do is right click on the game, go to properties, go to local files, and then verify integrity of the game and then make it re-download and then run the entire patch again and you should be able to launch the game. And then now we have this main menu open. The main thing is that we can't join a multiplayer game. We can only host a local game. That's due to the anti-cheat battle eye. However, this is going to be a compromise if you want to play this game on your own. So here we're going to click on host local. And then here I'm going to play single player. So you're going to go ahead and create a new survivor. And here we can load up the game. So you can see here, this game is obviously not optimized for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. There's an Intel build running through Rosetta 2. However, it seems to run okay. We're getting a frame rate of around 30, 40 FPS. I'm just gonna test this out with everything closed and with a bit more optimization. So the game does run and it runs at an okay frame rate. It obviously could be optimized a lot better. At this stage in its lifespan, it's incredibly unlikely for this to get any patches on the Mac operating system. However, it's a worthwhile download and definitely worth checking out, especially as the game is still free to claim for a couple more days. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.